Hey guys, it's uh, Chris your senior back from CNH Small Engine again for another informative uh, service and repair video. We right now I've got deals with uh, string trimmers and the, the types that are currently on the market right now. Uh, the one I have down here is a it's an Echo uh, ES250. Uh, this is a uh, 2012 model year uh, style right here. Let's see from my other side right here. It's uh, their entry level, uh, what you call the economy line tub machine. Uh, it's made by uh, Yam Yambrico Corporation, I believe, in uh, Japan. These are these are relatively good machines out there. This one right here is not the commercial uh, duty usage because uh, some of the commercial duty ones uh, they have a different uh, a different style of uh, shroud on here. They actually have a shroud where. You can basically take the muffler off in about maybe two or three minutes on it. Where this one, it's the uh, the cheaper lower entry one, where you got to disassemble the whole shroud on it just to get to the muffler on here. And uh, that's one of the drawbacks with having a cheaper lower um, entry level machine like that. And uh, these machines run pretty good whenever they're running pretty uh, run, running well out there, I should say. Uh, th this one right here and most uh, Echo stuff, they only have one piston ring in there. I really don't like that because uh, it's always a general rule to have like two in there because you want the most compression you can for your uh, buck right there and this one only has one as do most of them out there in the market. Uh, this one also has a uh, barrel style carburetor. You can probably see it right down here. It's this uh, black thing right here. I'm pulling up and down on there. Uh, the one drawback I, don't, I, don't, I really don't like about this type of uh, system is um, uh, there's like no external adjustments on there at all. Where the older style ones like Sears, AYP, Husqvarna, Steel, uh, they just about have external adjustments on every single model out there. So you can basically fine tune your specific application, whether you go to hot weather outside, cold weather, uh, humid weather out there, because that, that affects uh, the specific. Uh, uh, how your machine's going to run out there and how it's going to specifically run when you actually do use it out there. So I consider that one drawback right there for uh, the Echoes out there. But otherwise, they are a well-built machine and uh, they do seem to run pretty good. Uh, I always recommend putting uh, Opti uh, Lube to a mix in these things as well because uh, they run a lot cleaner and when they run, when they run a lot cleaner, the ports don't get clogged up and the muffler don't get clogged up as well because on these ones right here you can see right down inside they have a spark rester on top of the muffler so you get an additional back pressure thing right there so you get you get the muffler uh, you also have a catalytic converter inside the muffler it's like it's about that big it's about maybe, maybe about like two inches around it's a honeycomb style catalytic converter and you also have the other uh, back pressure thing right there too it's the uh, spark rester too so you got uh, three big things right there to put a lot of back pressure on these machines and uh, those things can get clogged up relatively quickly if uh, a owner of the machine does not uh, run them properly and, and use the proper gas mix and use proper stuff to keep it maintained properly. So that's basically a review of uh, Echo Power Prox right here. This one I got is a 2012 ES250 on here and it's made by Yambico Corporation. This is an uh, 2012 October version for this as well. So if anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, just uh, give me a call here or uh, leave a um, detailed voice or another detailed voice. Uh, just uh, leave a detailed uh, uh, message on my page here and I'll try to answer any questions you may have about something of this type right here if I can. I'll see you guys.